In this video, we are going to learn applications of histograms. In particular, we'll learn how to make a histogram in our calculators. So we have our calculator here and we have a set of data. And let's suppose we want to organize this data into a histogram. So the first thing you want to do is go into the stat menu and select edit and you're going to make a list of your data and you just need one list so I'm going to clear out list two and clear out list one and then your first job is to enter in all the data into list one so start out with 10 and 32 and so on once you've entered in all of your data you should decide on your bin size for your histogram. This is something you always have to decide. Remember the bin size is how big do you want each of your bars to represent? Do you want them to go from be in groups of 10, like from zero to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, or do you want them in groups of five, in groups of 15, whatever makes sense. In this case, we're going to go with groups of 10. So once you've decided that, you're going to go into window and set the window correctly. Because we want groups of 10, my X scale will be by tens. I also need to set my X min and X max to think about what's the total range of my data. So I see that I'm going from 10 up to 64, something in the 60s. So I'll just make my range from 0 to 70 to make sure that I include everything. So my X min will be 0 and my X max will be 70 and my scale will be 10 because that's my bin size. Now for Y min and Y max, you should make Y min 0. This is basically what's the range of frequencies that you'll have. So think about what's the max number that you'll have in each bin. And you can make it bigger than you need just to be safe. So I'll say uh, 20. I know that's bigger than I'll need. Once you've set up your window, you need to tell the calculator that you want to do a histogram. So you're going to go into stat plot and make sure you have plot one on. But this time we're going to make a histogram. So we go down to the type and scroll over until our histogram is highlighted and select enter. Notice that now we only have list one highlighted and that's good. Once you've set up the correct stat plot, you can make your graph. So just click graph and you should see your histogram. There it is. So now that we have the histogram, we can analyze the data a little bit. We can click the trace button and it will tell us how many values are in each bin. So between zero and 10, there are zero values. If I scroll over, I'll see between 10 and 20, there are 12 values. So 12 of these numbers were between zero and 20. And this would be the mode for our histogram. That's the most common range. And I can keep scrolling and see between 20 and 30, there were four, between 30 and 40, there were five, 40 and 50, there were six, and so on. So that's how you can use your calculator to make a histogram and then analyze the histogram using the trace button.